I invite you to join me at the Delray Beach Chamber of Commerce, because here, we're all about community. With like-minded people and businesses, the Chamber will help your business grow, and you get to connect with people that will become your best friends. Weekly events give you ample opportunities to learn alongside talented professionals. At the Delray Beach Chamber of Commerce, we are better together. Become a member at delraybeach.com. Good morning, Delray Beach. I'm Amanda. And, I'm and we are here at one of the poshest restaurants in town. One of the most happening spots right here. Absolutely. No matter what time of day. I agree. I Lionfish. Agree. Lionfish, yes. This place is, is booming. It's right next to the other booming spot, Johnny yep. Brown's. Two totally different vibes, yeah. but both of them are top notch, I can't say that. And you could go from one to the other, too. Yes, yes. You come here, have some a beautiful sit-down meal, and then go over there and enjoy live music and have some drinks at the bar there. I, I heard that we might be able to get a chance to sample some, some food. I know. Well, this has been sitting here already. We didn't drink this, guys. This wasn't that we already drank it. This is, this yeah, is for right. later. <laughs> you know, it was like her drink was... <laughs> <laughs> it was not. You would, you would see lines. We did not. But no, this uh, when this opened, I mean, it was the most talked about thing. Like, everyone couldn't wait. We were all trying to peek in the windows, and they did not disappoint. No, I mean, I it is stunning. I mean, a lot of times, if you're just going to try to walk into this place, a lot of times you can't. Oh, no, really you can't. Get, you you got to make, make plans. You got to make, make a plan. reservation. And for, for a good reason. The food's delicious. Reason. The service is wonderful. And the environment. Yes. You can't beat it. Yes, I, no, I totally agree. It's beautiful. They done a, I mean, just to bring this to downtown Delray, a lot of people may say, you know, there are so many restaurants down here, mm -hmm. which it is. But however, yeah. I think this is probably one of the newer spots and they really thought this 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 idea will roll out you know from the food yeah. to the drinks to the vibe to the ambience everything and it was the first of its kind here in delray yes. beach when it yes. opened for sure like we had nothing like it. we still don't have anything like All it right. but when it came everyone was like wow i mean and it's just one of the many touch points that menon has done right. here in town that's been so wonderful i can't re really wait to talk to them later on you know to yeah. talk more about um lionfish but how was your mm -hmm. weekend oh it was great <laughs> <laughs> she did not have a great weekend. No, I did not, guys. It was, okay, I'm trying to be positive. I had a sick little one, which means, you know, everyone has to stay home. So we tried to do Delray Affair for a hot second, and she was not feeling so hot. Yeah. So we, uh, after five minutes, she was complaining. She was overheated. Yeah, so, we, take place, yeah. so we ran down the street real quick, and then we went back home. But yeah, no, her whole little class was sick. They were all sick, so... I had to, you know, sit so home. Yeah, I did fair, mommy the, duty. The Billie Jean cup that I took know, place. I missed all the things, Jamel. Okay, I am a little salty. I'm sorry. I hope she doesn't see this. I am a little salty. There was a lot going on and I didn't get to Stella, go. Stella, you can't get sick anymore. She I'm can't get sick. No, she can't get sick. But it's so, you know, it's hard because when, when you're a parent, obviously that's your that's your priority. Right. So even though there were, I had my plans for the weekend, right. my plans, you know, and just had to no, shift. No, I, I just tell my kids, listen, you're not sick. Sick is a mindset. Oh boy. So he's either. the one that's bringing that COVID all around everywhere. It's him. This Stick is a mindset. We figured out who's doing this. Your Thanks, sinuses you know. just clog your eyes are oh puffy. Boy. It's just a mindset. <laughs> no. 
away. No, but so what, what, you were away and you yes, had yes, an so amazing I, time. I had an opportunity to take some of our young men from from Delray out to uh, Seattle, Seattle, Washington. I saw and, those uh, views; they were listen, crazy. We, I mean, we stayed in a nice Air, Airbnb on on the Puget Sound, which wow, it was it was it was new to me as yeah. well. You know, so for the kids just to see something that's not just yeah. flat and level. I mean, they were in heaven. I mean, the weather there, I mean, it was 30 degrees and it was raining. So you can imagine what little Ooh. kids from South Florida. Oh, they felt. were shaking. <laughs> so some I hope of them, that was their first time on a plane. Um, everything. Yeah, they did have a coat, but not thick enough. So oh, I think no. even myself, I had on, I, I wore everything <laughs> in my suitcase one day. I put on everything. I was layered up. It was Florida just that man, cold. man, where's his entire suitcase? <laughs> everything. Four pairs of socks, and I was still freezing. Uh, but no. I think the kids went out. They had a couple showcases, so they got a, got a chance to showcase their talent. Got out on the field. I mean, they they really oh, showed out. Great. So our, our older kids, they won a championship. While they were over there, a seven on seven uh, championship in the rain, thirty degrees. Aww. It was crazy. I don't know how they were catching amazing. the football. That's in, that, in that type of weather. That's like but, the professionals. You yes. watch it on TV and you're like, how are they doing that? And these boys, these young boys are doing Listen, it. That's I, incredible. Yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was a wonderful experience. Well, we were supposed to leave out on Thursday, but due to the flooding that for, oh, for a lot of the airport. Oh, yeah, I didn't even yeah, think about somebody that. Somebody thought about transporting Lake Ida and putting it right yeah, on the right runway. There. Yep. You know? The whole thing was there. <laughs> I mean, the it's scary. Lake. We got lucky that we weren't like that I here. Mean, and the kids were like, Coach, let's just go there and go fishing. You know, it was crazy. In the airport? <laughs> fishing in the airport. I don't know what you so yeah, so we ended up flying out Friday. So it was one day our our little trip was one day shorter, but okay. I think it was it was well worth it. The kids yeah. had an awesome time, awesome experience. Um, I didn't really sleep staying in the Airbnb with eight high school boys. It was but they were up all all night doing with playing video games. Yelling. It was crazy, but I had a lot of fun with them. That's I had a incredible. lot of fun with, with, with the young men. So um, what a great experience. Very very. So there's also. Um, some other great things coming up. You here. got to try some delicious food though first. Food, you know. We, you know he forgot about his delicious food. So, I mean, I was <laughs> so I got to go to the green market the one time, and then he got salty, so he went, and then he went without me, so he got to have some treats. So what did you have this time? Well, you know what? Let's just show them. All the right, clip. let's show them. We're here at the Delray Beach Green Market, downtown Delray Beach, Old School Square, put on by the Delray Beach CRA. Listen, most of the vendors that are out here, a lot of things are homegrown, but guess what? There's also some things that are locally made. So I'm going over here, I wanna try some of this locally made mozzarella cheese. So I think this is my 12th season 12th here. 12th season, wow. Yes. Um, the way I got into it, I actually, I love cheese. <laughs> so then, you know, we have a good product and then once I came out, it's just, we're, it's like family here. Everybody, I have customers that have been seeing me for the last 10, 12 years. They come every Saturday. Everything on my table is made fresh yesterday. We're known for our fresh mozzarella. I would say this is definitely my top seller. These guys are the samples. I actually cut these into little ba uh, balls. They're like a cherry size. So they're perfect to snack on, even better to toss into a salad, or even easier to sample. <laughs> Have at it, man. There's a process with the mozzarella. I've seen it on, on TV watching Food Network, like flipping it in there. You do all of that? Then? We do, yes. Oh my God. I work with Vito. Um, Vito's, Vito's the owner. We make cheese every day except Sunday. Sunday's our family day. This man has the softest hand you'll ever touch. <laughs> and then I also have the smoked mozzarella that we marinate in our liquid smoke recipe overnight. I sell out of the burrata every week. Burrata is a, basically, it's a big ball of cheese. Outside's mozzarella. The inside's a thick, spreadable cheese. So as soon as you cut this ball, it's gonna ooze with fresh deliciousness. My personal favorite product is gonna be the fresh ricotta. This is creamy fresh ricotta we make with, <clears throat> excuse me, whole milk. All of our milk is bought from a private farm in Orlando, grass-fed cows. And I also, I sell out of this every week as well. If somebody wanted to, to, to purchase the cheeses, how could they get a hold of you guys? Well, I'm always going to tell you to come out and see me at the Delray Green like Market, like number that. one. <laughs> um, but we're also at a couple other markets. Um, we are, we did lead into the wholesale, so we, you can find us at Whole Foods, Doris's, Carmine's, um, Bedner's up the road locally. We're in a lot of mom and pop shops locally in Delray. But of course I want you to come see me at Delray. Don't forget to come see me at the Delray Beach Green Market, guys. Fresh mozzarella, mozzarita. <laughs> I love it. All right, here at the Delray Beach Green Market, you can find different types of food. You know, you have your homegrown food, you have your locally made food, but at the same time, you can find some ethnic delights. 
this Mediterranean delight. You're looking at these different recipes. What do we have here? What's this spread so that you have? Basically, the hummus, guys. So we have different kinds of hummus. Our hummus stands out because we make it the night before. It's all sprouted in alkaline water. It's got a different texture to it. And our top seller are the yogurt balls, of course. You know, so a little olive oil. They look like mozzarella balls, but they're not. Guys, you gotta try this. And the fa my personal favorite is this: the eggplant, walnuts, and olive oil, grilled olives, and dates. What really brings you here to the Dairy Beach Green Market? So we have a huge following. I've been doing this market for about four years, you know, so and everybody loves this kind of food, you know, authentic Mediterranean, you cannot go wrong with it, you know, okay. basically. So if, if people are watching this and they want to say, you know what, yeah. I, want to, I want to purchase some of this, are you only here at the Dairy Beach Green Market? So no, we do different markets, guys. So today, believe it or not, we're in 10 different markets spread out through, you know, South Florida. And but you know, the Dairy Beach yeah. Green Market is always the best, Yeah, right? it's the best one, yeah. <laughs> so come see me, I'm the owner. So one thing, you know, we call the perfect bites. We mix all three of these guys together. Just the yogurt, the eggplants, and guys, come down and try our perfect bite, okay? There we well, go. I'll definitely yeah, try it. Let me go for it. Yeah, yeah. Just be careful with that olive oil. Don't get it on your shirt. But that olive oil is precious. You can save that olive oil. Oh, wow. All mixed together, man. Yeah, so. I'm still stuck right now. That's a lot of flavor in there. It's a lot of flavor, man. The yogurt, yeah. I mean, everything. You can even tell the olive oil is so fresh. So. Yeah, yeah. Save the olive oil. It's good for six months. Use it for your salads. That was very delicious, so I think I'm gonna have to get me another one of those. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Let me <laughs> drop you another off. one of those then. Yeah, that was awesome. All right. So we're taking this one for the road, folks. You gotta come over here and check it out. Mediterranean delight. Hey guys, You're doing an awesome thing, I'm telling you. This is very delicious. My tongue is dancing right now. No problem, now. man. Thank you, man. Awesome Thank job. You. Appreciate you, man. Well, yeah. you had fun. Listen, that, that was a lot of fun, and I have to say, I've never tasted like some cheese that was just so fresh, yeah. the mozzarella cheese, and it's made local. I it's mean, this, so this, this lady say she makes all of our, you know, they have to. Yeah, do oh, this it's whole a lot of work to make that with the cheese. It's so, a lot of work. Yeah, it, it just took me back to my kid days. She had all these balls of cheese on the plate. And I just, I just started picking it. What'd up. you do? As fast as you could. As fast as I can. <laughs> and then the, the, the Mediterranean place, like I've never really, I've never been a fan of really like goat cheese. I love but goat cheese. I think he had these little balls of goat cheese floating in this this, this gooey mess of of <laughs> olive oil and seasoning and herbs, and then he spread it on his this little cracker and put I'm all starving. these little different. Season. Why are you doing this to me? I'm so oh hungry already. Gosh, We're in this beautiful restaurant. I'm hungry. When, when, he, when I when I bit into it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's not going to taste good whatsoever. It's incredible. And it no, shocked me. It just like my my taste buds just started yeah. dancing. They had a little party in my mouth. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That's one of my favorite <laughs> things there. I, I'm volunteering this week with the Arts Warehouse at the Green Market again. So guys, I'm going to try all the snacks. Yes. That's my favorite part of helping to, out there. I get to eat all the snacks. Yeah. But it is. It's such a wonderful place to have these local businesses come together, share what they make with all of us, and it's incredible. Yeah, the green market is 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 an episode. I mean, it's very it's a good experience. A great experience. Great experience for so. sure. Speaking of experiences, we have a really big deal happening. Yes. Really soon. Coming down downtown to the Dairy Beach Tennis Center. Check check out this clip. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Honey Quest presents Lotus Music Festival. Saturday, April 29th, Delray Beach Tennis Center. Performing live Ice Cube. Let's play another count. It's a crazy brother named Ice Cube. I'm the stupid dope gang with an attitude. Today was a good day. All thugs in harmony. Lisa, Lisa. Color me bad. Hosted by Brian Austin Green. Lotus Music Festival. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Damn, that was dope. We have it's going down. I'm telling you, on the 29th. It's gonna be amazing. It's going down. Well, it's we need to down. bring on somebody who really knows what's gonna go down. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, yes sir, DJ, Johnny, DJ, Johnny, D -D 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 DJ, Johnny Quest is in the building. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. That was quite an intro. Mm -hmm. I, wow, I feel like I'm at like a wrestling match with that intro or something like that. But thank you guys. No, well, what's coming is way more exciting than yeah. a wrestling match. Absolutely. Lotus Music Festival. 
Uh, next Saturday, April 29th, uh, at the Delray Beach Tennis Center. And what makes it so special is it's the first concert that's ever happened at the Delray Beach Tennis Center. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, you see me at Old School Square, which yep. is great, but we've stepped it up and we're taking over the entire tennis center, so it's, it's, it's gonna very, be very crazy. exciting. It's going to be crazy. Absolutely. So I can't even wrap my head around, like, how are you going to have a show in the town? I mean, this is insane because it's so intimate yeah. and, like, right there. And with these major yeah. musicians, like, it, this is not, like, some little show. Right. This is a big deal. I mean, so we were talking earlier, and some of your people, they, they don't come here. So I want you to tell about your lineup and who's coming and some people that don't come here typically. Absolutely. Well, first of all, Ice Cube is headlining it. Ice Cube has never been in South Florida, period, which is super, super special to yeah. finally get him. Uh, Lisa Lisa for all the freestyle fans, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Two Live Crew. Crazy. Uh, Color Me Bad, and it's hosted by everyone's favorite 90s icon, Brian Austin Green, which Crazy. another one who never does these kind of things. He's a very private guy. Yeah. So to get him out here to be a part of it, it's it's really special. He, he <clears throat> loves old school and this is how we're getting them to fly across country and come be a part of it. So it's it's, it's amazing a big that Brian deal. part of it. So the one thing I have to say with the Lotus uh, Music Festival, anytime you do it big, yeah. I mean, you're always doing it big. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like it's go big or, or go home. Yeah. You know, you're not you're not just bringing in a little small like person like Jamel to come on stage and, and do but a little. He will be. This man, this man, we have one local talent. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I have Jamel to say will be up that, there dancing, <laughs> doing the cabbage patch, <laughs> yeah, and I'll be breaking it down. Like, I'll let him fool you. He's gonna steal the show. That's right. I'll just oil up my knees, man. You know, just put some oil on my knees and put a little icy hot on your back, and we're good to go. That's it. But I have to. I have to say the the last concert um, that you did at at Old School Square was yeah I, it had the whole crowd crazy you and DJ Last on the ones and twos I mean yes. with the whole crowd everybody that was there I mean it people was a, are still was, talking it, about it know, they're still talking about it you know and I think now moving it to the tennis center mm -hmm. yes. gives you more space I mean the vibe there it's like when you visualize just a concert in the tennis center it's like the perfect insane yeah, absolutely yeah that, we could be more excited like I said it's the first time there so. You know, hopefully everything runs smooth, being the first time there. But uh, yeah, we couldn't be more excited. We're, we're literally going to take over Delray Beach. And I also want to give a shout out to 1-800-CALL-LEE, yes. our partner on it, the Ray Hotel. Yeah. Uh, we have some of our artists there. So ladies, don't stalk Brian, but <laughs> you know, you might catch a glimpse <laughs> or something like that. But, so shout out to Ray Hotel. They're going to be and, wondering uh, what, why all these yes. women are yeah. all laying outside <laughs> screaming. You might kill me for mentioning that. Like, how do you know I'm here? Oh, man. Yeah, he's never coming back to Florida yeah. again. Yeah. Never again. He's like, dude. Come on, so how did, this, how did this come to be with the tennis center? I mean, that is so um, innovative and just so cool yeah. to be able to have an incredible show in a really different kind of setting. Um, it came about to, I, I, I constantly want to grow my brand, the mm -hmm. Lotus uh, Fest, um, and I needed a venue that was seated that can house thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. Delray is fantastic. This is a move that's been in the works for a few years now. Um, it, it was kind of a long shot because, again, they don't really yeah. do these type of events in the tennis center. But luckily, the city of Delray Beach has been fantastic and, and everyone runs the tennis center and we just made it happen. It was, it was a long time in the making, though, and I just went my gut, my heart, and I said, this is the right move. Let's bring it here and, and let's blow it out of the water. Well, we're so lucky to have you yeah. and, and have this here. I mean, this is a big deal for our city, too. Like, to have these right. level of artists coming here and in, I mean, in the tennis center, like, we, we always think of it as, oh, well, there's a lot of really incredible athletes, yeah. but to have musicians and athletes, I mean, it really does put that tennis center on the map in a new way. It's totally out of the box, obviously. Mm -hmm. You don't picture a tennis center with a concert, but I have a vision for it, and it's going to work out great. We're going to have a stage on the dance, on the um, uh, tennis court floor, oh and my we're going to make it work. So when people come, they'll actually see, like, okay, this makes sense. Yeah. You know? Oh, it's gonna be so cool. I mean, when you you think of Ice Cube, you know, this just a this is an icon <laughs> in the music industry and in the, yeah. in the production world. I mean, coming to Delray Beach, little old Delray, you have few cousins. You know, We're probably, not a sleepy probably, town anymore. He probably had to Google Delray himself <laughs> while he yeah. He's like, what is this? What? <laughs> He's like, where is this place? Yeah. Yeah. You know, is this a little island off the coast of? Uh, <laughs> so for yeah. people who are watching, and I'm sure a lot of people are wondering how they can get tickets, because this is going to be amazing. How, are there still tickets available? How do they we get them? We are almost sold out at this point, oh, but no. you can still grab some. They're at Ticketmaster.com. Okay. Uh, just look up Lotus, which is spelled L-O-T-O-S, mm -hmm. uh, Lotus Music Festival, and you can go on there and 
grab your tickets and come rock out with us next Saturday at the Tennis Center. So it's, it's going to be, be amazing. amazing. And Jamel is actually hosting part of the show, by the way, along with Brian. Yeah. So that's going to be awesome. Listen, you I mean, be... you're up there with a 90210 star. Look at that's you. It. He's going to abandon us, guys. He's, gonna, he's getting too big. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, right? Not, not you watched it. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, I watched that show all the time. I was the in He's on there yeah. watching. He's watching yeah. it. During your nap at lunch, you're watching. They used to come on and then Melrose Place came right on up. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> you watched it. He knows. He knows. No. told me that. Melrose Place came on afterwards, so. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I had to Google that. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right. He, he no. knows. Well, they, I mean, this is just such a really exciting event. We have so many fun things that are happening, but this is a next level well, the, kind the of. The thing is, the, the one thing about Dillard is that there, there are events for everybody. Yes, absolutely. You know, um, I have to applaud to our, our city commission for yeah. even even helping making this happen. Yeah. I'm mean, working with Johnny. It's a big deal. With, with the special events team with, with the city of Delray mm -hmm. to try to figure out what's the best way to make this happen, make it safe, you know, yep. just to go through all of these things behind the scenes. Yep. And, and he's still he's still here, you know, it's a lot. You know, it's yeah. not easy bringing a big event Absolutely like that. Not. And again, I, I just want to say thank you again to city of Delray Beach because I know this is a big deal to have yeah. this year. So I, I couldn't be more blessed that they're opening their arms and let me come in and do my thing. Yeah. So ready to have some fun. Well, we can't wait. We're, we're all so excited. Listen, everybody in South Florida, yeah. Delray Beach, let's let's show up and show out and show Ice Cube. Yeah. Like, listen, we're on the mount, baby. That's yes. right. Yeah. And that Today was a good back. day. Yeah. Okay. You the ice cube. You can try the ice cube voice. Yay! 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 That's it. All right. I'm, I'm embarrassed myself. But yeah. No, you did great. No. And I mean, so are you going to be performing also? I will be. I will be doing a DJ set right before Ice Cube. Oh my um, gosh! That's yeah. So, so cool. I got to do my little thing, yes. and I'll be playing all the old school hip hop and freestyle yes. and R&B and. Doing my thing up on stage. Because you're a legend in your own right. Oh. Like, we need to see you perform. Yes. So that's great. Well, yeah. you, you know, the, the crazy thing, even at the, the concert at uh, Old School Square, right before Vanilla Ice, and it, you did a session, you right. and Last mm -hmm. did a little DJ battle, and I think that turned the crowd yes. out. I mean, in the crowd, everybody, I mean, because it was just more of, it was right after COVID. Right. You know, it was right after COVID, and I think people were just ready to be out. And I think uh, yeah. all of the old heads, I'm gonna say old heads that was in the building. You took them back to middle school. Yeah. You took them back to Club Boca. You took them back to oh, Trio. Wow. You took them. He went to Club Boca. <laughs> you know, you, you took everybody yeah. back. So I seen some grandmothers and, and some some mothers in there just starting to start. My to, mother too. My yeah, mother was out there. Start shaking it. That's why that's why Jamel yeah, wants to come back there. again. He wants to come back again to see a grandma I'm not gonna shake her out because I, I, I my uh, sex was right. That's right, you were there too. She is not a grandma. Yeah. She is a, a young hottie. Hey, we have a lot of fun on these shows, so yes. it, it's going to be Forget even it. way more turned up on this show. So uh, let's go. Let's just have some fun, guys. And everyone, again, grab your tickets at Ticketmaster.com. Come out, have some fun, and support the old school. Let's yes. go. Ah, so good Maybe. to see you. Yes. So we'll Thank see you Thank you so much, guys. Show. I appreciate it. Thank DJ you. DJ Johnny Quest. Oh, we're in the building. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Yes, it's gonna be fun. You know, you know what the good thing is that he came out because that was our cue to drink our drink when he was uh -huh. supposed to come out. That's yeah, what we get. Him. It's yeah. He brings the fun always. <laughs> so as soon as he came, we got to have our fun. No, oh yes. so this is gonna be so exciting, and I think we're just so lucky to have next level events here. People that I mean, you can see on big stages here in our tiny town. Yes. So that I think too with. Um, with all of our events, that's, that's, <laughs> with all of our events that's coming up, we do have another. We do have another event, um, our Earth Day event. Earth Day is a big deal, and yes. especially in a coastal town like yes. ours. Yes. Okay. You need some more. Especially in a coastal town like ours, um, sustainability and paying attention to what's happening yes. is a very important conversation and I agree and every time every time mr. Edwards come on to the show we learn something so much so much you know about so you gotta, sustainability you gotta introduce him with the same voice now he deserves the same level of a fanfare I, I totally agree ladies and gentlemen boys and girls of Delray Beach community your sustainability officer the man that makes it happen that's reducing our carbon co I mean our carbon footprint <laughs> mr. Kit 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 Edwards. Woo! And no, I didn't have Hello, a stutter. That was part, nice of, that was part of that, the, the introduction. Good morning, Jamil. Good morning, so, good morning. We are always excited to have you and to hear about all the good work that you're doing, hard work, 
and important work yes. behind the scenes. Yes, we uh, have a lot going on for Earth Month and Earth Day. Actually, we're going to start early, and on Friday, we have a green building webinar with LEED that is very well known. So anyone that's interested in green buildings mm -hmm. should uh, tune in to, to that. You can go to our website for all that information. And then on Earth Day, we have multiple uh, events. We start at 8 o'clock at Santa Way Discovery Center. Oh, I love it the there. Great American Beach cleanup, right. mm -hmm. and people can get involved with that and, and sign up. Have men in development, and I always like to come to a so question. Fish. Did you have yeah. anything to do with this drink? Because it says illegal only use is 100% sustainable. Oh. Agave. I, I, you did have something to do personally, with. but I was so happy to. Yeah, to see that's that. a big. It's a big deal. Listen, that's a big anything deal. that you can make sustainable and yeah. put it in alcohol or what, I'm, I'm for it. So we <laughs> like sustainability in all areas yeah. of life, this is not gonna, just this alcohol. This is going to sustain me for the rest of the day. <laughs> Jamel, well, okay. and, and that's the thing in everyday life. There's so many things that we can do yeah. that are sustainable. Right. Yes. And Lionfish does a great job of they do. doing that. And that's one thing that I think just as, as a company as a whole, Menon is always thinking about new innovative ways to be sustainable and push these messages, right, yeah. which really does make an impact here. It, it does. I mean, yeah. you, you see it every right. day, how, these changes that we're making and what, what they do, like, like the trees. We've got to talk about your trees. So we have a, a great tree program the, the city has got and the community has gotten behind. We have. Uh, almost 3,500 trees have been planted in, in the last two years of, of that. Wow. On uh, 9 o'clock at Old School Square in the Green Market, we have a tree giveaway. <gasps> so Wait, 9 o'clock? I gotta be, I miss it every year. I'm one of the, the ones there? that get cut off. Okay, so 9 o'clock in Old School Square. So what kind of trees are you giving out this time? Uh, we have native trees and fruit trees. Wow. Um, so it, it's great for the, the native habitat. I mean, yeah. We have oaks and, and pines and, and privets, and, and I, I'm not sure exactly which ones that they are, but mm -hmm. also edible fruit. Um, that saves a lot of money, especially yeah. with today's prices. Yeah, so, <laughs> exactly. Um, well, that, even with even with trees, it, it saves on your energy bill when yeah. your house is in a shaded area. That's right. You know, doing different things of that nature. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people I know at my HOA and, and different HOAs, they require each home to have yeah, a certain HOA. amount of trees in, in the yard. And a lot of people really don't understand why. It's like, oh, it's I don't like the aesthetics thing. of it. But it's a at good the same thing time, for the community. It's, it's an energy saving thing. Like with my house on certain sides, I have trees on one side and one side I don't. So the rooms that are not on that side where the trees are, those rooms get a lot of, hotter. little hotter. A lot than, hotter. Actually, yeah. in green building, that's something that, that you get credit for because of the shading oh. effect and the wow. energy saving that, that you get from it. Yep. That's Good so cool. So the, the tree giveaway is, is one, and then uh, we have a couple of other uh, events also on, on Earth Day um, at the uh, Family Recreation Playground Center on North Congress, just north of Lake Ida. We have a, a native habitat planting that's going on. People oh, can join nice. in there. National Wildlife Refuge Association and City Parks is doing that. And also we have a mo movie at the Cornell Museum, uh, Fish People, about six stories where people have been majorly impacted by water. So Earth Day, we're really going all out that this year. Yeah. Things that people can do and, and, and learn from. And something for everybody, I feel well, I like. I if you want to be outside. I was impacted by water when my flight or... was canceled. Yeah, That's see, right. <laughs> see, it's a big, and especially big for us here in Florida, like yeah. it's a, a bigger deal, I think, than even some other areas because we are right here, yes. and the ocean so, is in I think our too, town. And I think we spoke about uh, somebody made a post on online the other day. They said is is Florida sinking? You know, they're just thinking about every year like mm -hmm. the flooding, and yeah, and I worse. think it's a balance between the infrastructure mm -hmm. and yes, also yes. you know global warming. Well, mm -hmm. as the as the climate warms, the, the air actually holds more water. Mm -hmm. And so the predictions were, and, and we're seeing it just like that, yeah. that uh, event, um, yeah. a lot more rain coming down in, in those events. And the infrastructure may not have, have been built at, at the time right. expecting those kinds of events. Mm -hmm. I mean, the port uh, was shut down for multiple days. The airport was, yeah. was shut down. It's a big and, deal. And we really need to, to pay attention. We can prepare. There's mm -hmm. things that we can do. Right. Yeah. But climate change is real. And, it, and it's happening right now. Yeah. A lot of people think like, okay, this won't impact me in my DNA. This is something that's 100, 200 years out. Look no, at the gas is, lines. Exactly. This is impacting <laughs> us right. right now. And it's, yeah. it wasn't a slowly, gradual no. impact. It you was know, like, you never know. You yeah. know, so this, this thing is impacting us right now. So I like that, you know, you guys are educating the community and everybody is doing their small little part. We need yeah. everybody to do their small little yeah. part to make a bigger impact. And, and I really like to, to point out when I when I come to Lionfish and, and you mentioned 
the sustainable practices and, and mm -hmm. the mezcal. That's an agricultural practice. It's organic. It's good for the the land, mm -hmm. and also on, on the menu, pulling yes. the lion fish out. Yeah, see that? That's see, we're not just drinking to be drinking. No, we're doing this. We are helping yes. the planet. <laughs> we are helping the planet here at Lionfish. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Like serving lionfish and a lot of other practices that they have at this restaurant really does make Very it where you can right. have a delicious meal and be doing good for our planet at the same time. Uh, I totally, I totally agree. I totally That's the whole package. Yes. Absolutely. It doesn't get better than that. So is there a website that, you know, our viewers can really go to and, and check out, um, you know, about all of the events for, for Earth Day? On the city's uh, uh, website, so www.delraybeachfl.gov and search on Earth Month. All the events are, are there. Uh, Sandway is a great place to, to sign up. and it's wonderful. National Wildlife Sandway is a, is a beautiful it's, place, too, to even just take your time. kids and, yeah. and go hang out while you're on the beach. So. Thank you very much. Thank you Kent. so Thank much you. for all of your Good hard work. You. Nice to see you always. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is um, I think with with the Earth Day events. I when I start when I was working with the city for a little bit, I started really to recognize. Like, yeah. Wow. You know, this it's is incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible with the events that's going on and everything that you can do to really assist and help the climate. And it's wonderful that you see the city, with yes. the, especially with the sustainability office, working with local businesses yes. like Lionfish. To put on beach cleanups and do right. a lot of different so, like, things where you can Even when, it, you can when help. it came up, the city started doing a straw ban, you know, different things yeah. of that nature. Mm -hmm. And then you, you see restaurants get creative with yeah. types of straws that they start having. You know, at first they were doing the paper straws. Oh, and people I hated like, those paper ones. Oh they my were the God, worst. like by the time you finish your drink, now, but that was, but then people went yeah. to like the avocado skin straws. Which are they had different so things. great. So it was, it was just different creative ways yeah. making us think outside of the box, really. Absolutely. Um, doing our little part, you know, to, to really help. Help our planet. Well, I think we should bring on the next two guests who are doing their part with Menin and Lionfish. Oh, let's you gotta do, do it. you gotta do the announcer voice again. Everybody deserves it today. Everybody you deserves it. You can't just do it today. for one person. I know, right? Because then you know right, you let's introduce scoot, let's everybody. Make room. Let's let's let you try it. No, I can't do that voice. I will embarrass all of us. They deserve better than that. Ladies and gentlemen. I don't like that part anymore. I want I want to say okay, ladies so and gentlemen. Okay, so don't. So just say that. This is what we're doing, baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're at Lionfish. Oh, I'm on this camera right here, baby. Listen, <laughs> Minute Development, Marketing Marketing Communications from Minute Development. Let's give it up for Tara Lubin. We have Leighton Manaya, uh, the Assistant General Manager of Lionfish, coming in, baby. Coming on the oh, camera. God. Coming on the lens. Welcome. <laughs> I was welcome. Yes. I feel like I was coming. Did you see that? Amazing introduction. See, he was it. gonna he was gonna deprive you that joy. Here, scoot down. Yeah, he was gonna deprive you that joy and make me do it. It wouldn't have oh sounded like that, guys. That it amazing. would have been like a lot more like. <laughs> so I'm very short. Not so fun. Um, yes. uh, my feet aren't touching the ground. You are I'm so cute. Fine. I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I know. This is so cozy. This is great. I mean, thank so you for having you. us. Thank this you. is just one of the most beautiful places in town and one of the most incredible menus that we have here in Delray, which is a big feat considering how many restaurants, does anybody know how many restaurants we have in town? A lot. Yes. A lot. A lot. I don't know how many. Growing. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Especially growing. here in Delray Beach. Yeah. It's and tremendously. I mean, it's, it is one of those places where you want to, he went for the big one. I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't know if I was supposed <laughs> to bring that. <laughs> he, he's sorry, sorry, props. Babe. This was a prop, Jamal. <laughs> that was a prop? It was, was nice. Prop. Yeah, if a prop nice. tastes like that, keep the props. He's taking the prop taste. But it is, it's amazing to see oh just how you guys get involved in the community and not just only with delicious menus and yes. welcoming people, but these other events like Earth Day. Mm -hmm. So I know Kent touched on it, but what, what are you guys doing for Earth Day? Well, for Earth Day this year, um, Saturday morning, Lionfish will be hosting a beach cleanup. Um, this is our third annual beach cleanup and we are partnering with Surfrider, Surfrider Foundation, who's been an incredible partner. Um, and we'll be doing a beach cleanup starting at 9 a.m. So where do you meet? Here? So we're going to meet at Atlantic Avenue. Okay. So Atlantic and the beach. Nice. And the pavilion there. Okay. You know, that, the yeah, pavilion, the right beautiful pavilion. Right, 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 yes. yes. right over by the oh, visitor yeah. center. Exactly. And we always have such an awesome turnout. It's yeah, a lot you do. of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a really cool event. And then after that, we're going to be doing an Earth Day themed brunch. You got it. We're going to have a sustainability menu. We're going to be featuring lionfish tacos. Yum. Have some really nice options on there. Yep. So we're definitely very excited. And 10% uh, of the proceeds will be going to Surf Rider wow. as well. Wow. Correct. Well, I so think if you'd too, like even... to attend the, the cleanup, right. you need to register. Mm -hmm. um, and that link is available on our website, mm -hmm. as well as in the link in our bio on our social media account. Amazing. 
thing. Yeah, with, with, with lionfish, you know, people don't understand that. That's an invasive species mm -hmm. that's in our waters. Yeah, correct. You know, and, and destroying a lot of our native, mm -hmm. um, our native like coral and different yeah. animals around, around that area. So a lot of people don't understand. I mean, they, they know that lionfish are also poisonous, but mm -hmm. then now they're saying that, oh my gosh, they're serving lionfish. So can you right. guys so can tap into that? that? You know, right, right, can you right. guys talk, touch on that piece? Right. How can you do uh, that? Right. How do you do that? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, the original concept with lionfish was to take an invasive species and take something that we want to get out of our oceans and make some okay. really creative dishes with it. Um, on our menu, we do offer a whole fried lionfish. Uh, when we first opened, it was available all the time just because of how ravaged we were. Yeah. On the coast. Right. As we've gotten rid of more and more lionfish they've been harder to come by and they've been more scarce which is a good problem to have mm -hmm. um we've did over 7500 pounds of lionfish wow. since we opened about 50 pounds oh, a week wow. so you know we've done really well with that um we try our absolute best to work with local fishermen mm -hmm. um fishermen that have sustainable practices that you know they use reels mm -hmm. which is something that you wouldn't think of but you know all the pollution with all the hooks that go into the ocean all of these, yeah, the marine life, you know, they'll eat these I hooks. I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah, That's it's, interesting. Yeah, so we work really close. We vet all of our sources, and we try our best to keep all the transportation to a minimum. Mm -hmm. That way we can make sure we lower our environmental footprint, which is really nice as well. And so we, we touched on this a little bit, too, with this drink, the strawberry basil bee's knees. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's delicious. You can tell we didn't like it at all. He's trying to get his <laughs> care. His it just slowly the goes down more and more. <laughs> I know, right? But what I think is just so cool is like how you even have your messaging out in, in your restaurant telling people, okay, about the sustainability and you're minimizing the carbon footprint. I mean... Mm -hmm. And, it's and it's the, incredible. It, and to that point, you know, I think I think it's important to to remain local as well. Yeah. Um, which we do with the honey that's featured in the cocktail. And so. it's delicious. And two dollar donation goes to Surf Rider when you do order this strawberry basil bees knees, which is I love to see when you get to go and enjoy yourself and have a nice time, but you also are doing good, whether it's with sustainability or giving giving money to an organization. And you guys just do such a beautiful job with that. There's yeah. always Anywhere you look, you're seeing men in, you're seeing you guys involved in the community yes. and giving back and trying to help, which really, I mean, that's how our town thrives. It's from, from working together. It's true. I mean, you know, we love, we love this city. We yeah. love the city of Delray Beach. Um, and we really want to see it flourish. We want to see it grow. We want to mm -hmm. see the city succeed. Yep. You know, and we're not, you know, necessarily trying to, you know, change a, a million things and make this, you know, some sort of metropolis. Yeah. But really enhance the city of, of downtown Delray. Absolutely. And we love to do it in an approachable way. Yes. A lot of times you'll say sustainability or you say you're going green and it's, mm -hmm. it seems like it's a very daunting task yeah. or something that it's difficult to understand. As you can see, we have, uh, you know, it, it's as simple a as changing the alcohol that you drink. use, mm -hmm. featuring an alcohol that's exactly. environmentally conscious. Yeah. And it starts with steps like that. It doesn't have to be anything that's like reinventing the wheel, but if we can make those little subtle changes little by little, mm -hmm. we can make a lot of difference. And even the exactly. bottles of this alcohol I was reading are now going to be made of recycled glass. And I yes. think that is so cool. Mm -hmm. I didn't it even is. know that part. It's either. all these That's steps crazy. along the way that are all adding to the bigger impact that we can make. And I, I just think it's so exciting. All right, so many totally brands great. are doing it too. Yes, you which know? is, and it's like, really, if you think about it, it's not a big, it's not a big thing to have no, to do not, to no. make a big impact. Right, it's true. So and, quest, yeah. question, I do, I, what's the number one like item one the menu? He's hungry, guys, I mean, he's hungry. Someone has to feed this what's man. The number one item? Chappelle, yeah. look, they, look what they're doing. Oh, oh, perfect timing. Oh, oh, we were that was perfect so timing. Hungry. He was hoping. He was like, please. Hi. How are you? Oh, my gosh. So this is our executive chef, Omar Olson. Hi. Uh -oh. Hi how this are is you? beautiful. Omar, you just became my wow. best friend. Oh, my, oh gosh. my gosh. So what is this? Okay, so this right here is our uh, featured yellowtail snapper, grilled on the plancha, and then it's finished mm -hmm. off in the oven. A little bit of fresh baby arugula, mm -hmm. and some blizzard tomato, with a charred lemon. Your choice of sauce, Pretty. starting with the mm -hmm. serrano butter, lemon butter, tomato caper relish, and mint chimney. Which is your favorite? My favorite right now is the serrano butter. I love spice. It looks spice. so good. I love oh, heat. Yeah. So all right. good. So, so all right, great. you go ahead and finish the interview. <laughs> he just, he's going <laughs> to eat his snack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then what is this? This is this gorgeous, This right here is too. our featured sushi roll. This is our R-Star roll. Yeah. Okay, so on the inside, we have a yellowfin tuna on the inside, mm -hmm. a little spicy mix. 
on top is a hiramasa, and then finished with a little bit of a garlic ponzu and shiso. Oh, this is beautiful. And it smells uh, incredible. You know He's what? got his napkin out. He's <laughs> ready. Listen, this is like a work of art. You know, I don't even want to touch it though because it's I a know, work it's of so art. It's, it's so pretty. This is a big. Go a wow. big Have fish. a taste here. So this I'm is on your sure. lunch menu or your dinner menu. When can people get this? Dinner menu. Dinner menu. Yes. This is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, this, oh wow. This sushi roll we will be featuring for our brunch as well. Yes. This Probably is gorgeous. Probably one of the most popular items. Mm -hmm. And as you look through all these ingredients, all of these are sourced locally. Um, Yellowtail snapper is an awesome fish to serve. Mm -hmm. It's local, um, wild caught, and it's on the IUCN green list, which is to say that it's a fish that, you know, has all sustainable practices. So it's very, very nice. And if you haven't had sushi here, you need to come and try the sushi. <laughs> this is like, the sushi here is so delicious and the flavors are so different. Um, like, I love it. Oh, this is so pretty. Glad you love it. You know what I love what you did with this fish? Is that I simple. can taste the fish. Yes. Very yeah. simple. It doesn't have all this. Simply grilled. Yes, mm -hmm. you yeah. taste the fish. Mm -hmm. the, t the, the taste of the fish is not masked by all these other different mm -hmm. seasonings and Absolutely. things of that yeah. nature. Yeah. Um, it's very <laughs> <plenty. You laughs> this presentation. Every... <laughs> I love it. This Good. is so beautiful. Thank you so Glad much. You okay, I want to try this sauce. Try too. the sauce. Yeah, please. Okay, all the sauces. Don't try this one. Jamel's too spicy. Jamel don't like spice. Jamel, you don't like spice? No. I love spice. Jamel does not. The spicier, the better. Spicier, I, I the say, better. I say, um, you know, it's just certain things that bring, that make me cry. It's Superman. <laughs> it's his kryptonite, guys. Uh, we we know, learned how to defeat, make me cry. how to defeat no. Superman. Jamel. I don't know that. I mean, spice is the one thing that challenges my manhood. Oh, right. My. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. <laughs> just some water. Right. This is so good. Maybe some milk. You know? <laughs> yeah, in a sippy cup. He needs yeah. it in a sippy cup. <laughs> this is so this is a sippy good. cup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh. oh, you see how they doing me, man? Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's because oh. we love you, Jamal. That's because we love you. I'm going to get hate mail too. Why are you picking on him? <laughs> This is so amazing, and just, I mean, all the food here is beautiful. Thank you for your hard work and, you. yes. and giving this to our town. You, you should, y'all should do some like, lessons so we can, you know, yeah. uh, come in and do I some lessons. I want to cook this at home. No, they want you to come here. They that'll want you to cook it at home. Yeah, but make it real expensive. Make it more than if you came here. Like, totally. You yeah. make it really expensive, yeah. and we'll yeah. still yeah. come, yeah, we'll and still we'll come. learn. Yeah. <laughs> we can do I'll, I'll, pay, I'll pay for those lessons. I'll do that. So that would be fun. That would be so much fun. I'll let you know. You let me know if you need an intern. Maybe like to be a paid intern. food. You can't beat that up. No. But thank you very much. Thank you so much. You're so welcome, guys. So what else do people need to know about lionfish, about sustainability, about what you guys have going on. Anything else on the sustainability front? Um, so we did want to shout out one of our main um, proprietors for fish, Tales yes. to Sales. Mm -hmm. They're a local company. Um, really, it's just a band of fishermen that wanted to do what they could for the environment. Um, it's really as simple as, you know, um, following all the practices that you need to um, that you need to follow, sorry, I'm tongue-tied, <laughs> um, in order to make sure that you, you're adhering to certain agricultural rules. Mm -hmm. Everything that we get is NOAA certified. And wow. We're working our best to try and become a smart catch excellence leader um, moving forward, especially for this location. It'd be very important to us, so we're Absolutely. excited. Absolutely. Um, it's a big deal mm -hmm. to be doing so much good, and it tastes like this? It tastes fresh. I mean, what? You don't have, you don't have that fishy smell. No. You don't have any of that. I no, mean, it's it delicious. Fresh. Yeah, I love Oh, we're going to eat this whole thing. Yeah. It's you not guys got to be <laughs> warned. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, Nemo. Like, eat it. I'm you sorry, Nemo. Maybe, maybe this more. is <laughs> so good. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> say, we'll <laughs> save you a We'll save you two. We like you. can have right. two pieces. Yes. I mean, it's this is really beautiful and delicious. And we're glad you I can't wait to come back. Yes. And I have to say thank you guys again for hosting us. Thank you. It's our absolute pleasure. We're so happy that we did this here at Lunch. You guys are amazing. Awesome. And we, we're, we're having a cocktail, a contacts and cocktails. cocktails. Yeah. I didn't That's get this right, sign Johnny this Browns. time and I remembered, guys, That's, I remembered. That's okay. So Johnny, Johnny Brown. Browns. Yes. So when is that? Our beloved Johnny Browns. Yeah, everyone loves Johnny Browns. Everyone loves Johnny Browns. Um, the contact, May 18th. May 18th. May 18th at 5 p.m. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a great, it's a great event with the Chamber of Delray Beach. And um, it's always a lot of fun. It's always a lot always of fun. fun. It's a great mingling event. You know, we'll have obviously great Johnny Brown's cocktails. Yeah. Point, you know, kind of elevated bar food. Also with Johnny Brown's, little plug. We're doing a burger and wing of the month. Ooh. And we're going to be doing that every month. So what's this month? So this month, 
Yeah, it's the hangover <laughs> burger. Oh, how fun. The hangover burger. It has got a fried egg and it's got Vermont cheddar. It's all a the whole things. situation. All the things. All the things. <laughs> I might need a hangover <laughs> burger. <laughs> <laughs> he can't, he can't. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so good. So yeah, it's gonna be great. And you know, everyone knows Johnny Brown. Of yes. course, it's a great place Maybe to hang out. Relaxed, mm -hmm. easy, but it's a great little mingling space yeah. so that's happening there. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank both, you both so much, and to your whole team. You I mean, you guys you. are amazing. This thank town you. wouldn't be thank the same you. without all of you. I totally we agree. Appreciate it, and same oh. vice versa. So right. thanks, it's a team. Yes. So it's a team. It's a team. Teamwork team. makes the dream work. Exactly. That's right. what I tell my six-year-old. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank, thank you guys, guys very much. Thank you. Yeah. We appreciate yeah. you fine, beautiful girl. I mean, always great to get to chat with these guys and hear about what's going on because there's always something fabulous and fantastic. Yep. But we want to eat the rest of this food. All right, you can go ahead and, and close out the show. <laughs> no, sir. You you close. You just, I open. You close. See, this hey. is how good it is. He doesn't even want to end the show. It's so delish. So delicious. <laughs> Listen, while we sit here and devour this yellowtail snap of this tuna, all this food, this great food from Lionfish, and finish our drinks, we want you to have a day already because we will for sure. Peace. I invite you to join me at the Delray Beach Chamber of Commerce because here we're all about community. With like-minded people and businesses, the Chamber will help your business grow and you get to connect with people that will become your best friends. Weekly events give you ample opportunities to learn alongside talented professionals. At the Delray Beach Chamber of Commerce, we are better together. Become a member at delraybeach.com.